How to Replace the DirecTV Traveler Sheath Cable. You will need the following tools to replace the sheath cable. A 5 16 7 16 3 8 and 11 30 seconds wrench, and a number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Press power on the interface box to power the system on. Once it raises up off the roof so the arm is at least parallel to the roof, press and hold power and select at the same time to power the box off. Now unplug the power cable from the back of the interface box. On the roof, begin by disconnecting the cable from the vertical C port on the turret using the 7 16 wrench. Now remove the P-clip that holds the cable to the elevation arms using the 5 16 wrench. Remove the P-clip from the cable and set the P-clip and screw to the side. Loosen the four nuts that secure the LMB guard in place. To remove the LMB, use the 11 30 seconds wrench to hold the nylock nuts in place and the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws. Carefully slide the LMB and LMB guard towards the end of the arm until the LMB comes free. Using the 7 16 wrench, disconnect the coax cable from the LMB and set it to the side. Now pull the cable out of the arm. Feed the replacement cable down the arm so the end with the two zip ties is on the turret side of the cable. Connect the cable to the LMB, tighten until finger tight, then use the 7 16 wrench for a quarter turn more. Slide the LMB into the end of the arm, adjusting the LMB guard as necessary. Slide the two screws into the holes and use the nylock nuts to secure the screws and LMB in place. Tighten the four nuts holding the LMB guard in place using the 3 8 wrench. Place the P-clip on the new cable between the two zip ties. Using the 5 16 screw, attach the P-clip to the elevation arm. Connect the cable to the vertical C port on the turret, tighten until finger tight, then use the 7 16 wrench for a quarter turn more. Plug the interface box back into power and power the system back on. Congratulations, you have successfully replaced your DirecTV sheath cable.